look at a TerraGrunt deployment. We're going to provision the target infrastructure using TerraGrunt and Terraform, and then we're going to deploy to it. So this repo has our TerraGrunt configuration files in it. We're going to be using this folder here. And in our TerraGrunt configuration file, we have the source. And this actually is in a different repo in our Terraform resources, and it's a module number three. So if I jump over there, and I go to module number three, and open up the Terraform script, I'll see in here my different outputs. And I'll be using these in Harness to map these outputs to the target infrastructure. And I'll show that later. But the one that we're most interested in here is cluster name. We're going to be doing a Kubernetes deployment, and that requires a cluster name mapping. All right, so the first thing you do in Harness is you're going to set up a delegate in your target environment, and it's going to need a Terraform and TerraGrunt running on it. So you could use a uh, delegate profile to create that. So you'll have a Terraform script install, excuse me, Terraform, Terraform update and install in TerraGrunt as well. And then you want to do a connection to your Terraform uh, resources folder uh, or your TerraGrunt. This is actually the Terraform. Let me close that. There's our TerraGrunt repo so that we can pull that file that references the Terraform one. Um, so once you have that Git connector, you'll use that to set up the TerraGrunt infrastructure provisioner. And in there, let's see, you'll give it a name and then the, you'll use the Git repo you set up. Um, I believe I have the right one here. Yeah, that's the same one here. And then you'll say where in that repo. So we have master and we have the root here. We have a dot for the root. Later, we're going to be specifying the um, folder here, prod novar required. Okay. So that's all you need for here. There are other uh, configuration options. You can store um, the uh, plan in the secrets manager. You can use your harness secrets manager if you have another one set up. All right, next step is you have to map those outputs to the target infrastructure. So harness knows where to get it. So in here, you create a new infrastructure definition in your application's environment. And in there, you have teragrunt.clusterName, and that's a mapping. So Harness knows to get that cluster name output and put its value here. Uh, here we have the provisioner we created. We're referencing that here, and then we're mapping that here. The rest of this is the standard Kubernetes. We have a namespace, and then we have a release name. That's how Harness uh, manages releases for rollback and so on. And we use this expression here to get a unique ID for the release. All right, next year we're going to create a service to deploy. And this is just deploying Nginx with uh, just standard template. Um, standard uh, manifests that are using Go templating, but we're just grabbing the artifact image from here. Okay, and then we have a workflow that is going to use that service and that environment um, to deploy. First, in the pre deployment, it's going to use the Terraform provisioner we set up. So here's a shell script I always add at the beginning, and it just shows the versions of everything so you can see those. It's a good idea to add that. Next, you, have, you add the TerraGrunt provision step. And here you're referencing the same provisioner. And then in module configuration, you're specifying specific module. module. And here we're using a workflow variable. Let me close that and show you. So you can do it on the fly when you deploy. And, but that is the value we're using here. It's the default value. And that's the same folder that we referenced back here. Same guy. That's where our uh, configuration file is. OK. So back in that step. That's the module, and then we're going to make this a plan. We're going to export it. Um, we have, I don't think there's any input by file, value, file values, but you do have the um, variables here specified in that same folder. If I go back here, I have variables, local variables, and then my Terraform variables if I have them. All right, so back in here, we keep going. No back in configuration, and we don't need to do targets or workspaces for this one. We are selecting that delegate that we configured with TerraGrunt and Terraform right here using its delegate selector. If we go back to that delegate, you'll see it has a uh, Terraform and TerraGrunt. These are the selectors here, and we are specifying it by name actually there. So here, back in the deployment, back in the workflow, I should say, um, we have an approval step after the plan. It's just a standard. Harness UI based approval. And then we have the provision. We inherit the plan from the previous step. So uh, we're inheriting it from the follow following plan. So nothing else needs to be configured because we're grabbing that. And we have, there's our value in this case, it's hard coded. 
And then I have a shell script step at the end, and this just echoes the Terraform Apply Plan and Terragram uh, Module 3 sleepout. So it'll uh, simply output that into the, uh, into the log. So when I run this, you'll see here we have our shell script step, and it's, doing, it's showing the versions of everything that we have installed. And then we have first of our provision step, and it's grabbing uh, everything we need from that folder, initializing it, doing the plan, and generating the plan. Next, um, we have, I don't have the uh, approval step in here, but it's a simple approval. Next, since we are inheriting the plan, it's getting state and inheriting the plan, initializing it, and then actually applying the plan, or getting the plan and then applying the plan here. And you'll notice in the plan step here, it is decrypting it, it's pulling it from the secret manager. And then here it is actually applying, here's your Terragrunt apply right there to apply the plan. And then here's our script here with, which had the output of the uh, Terraform plan just so you can see it all output and see all the values. And then back to our workflow, you'll see there's the deploy phase, and this is just the canary deployment, deploying that service that we created here. And it's deploying it to that target environment that we just provisioned. So here's the deploy step, canary deployment, using the same delegate, and deploying it to that target namespace that we created. And that's it. And at the end of it, as you can see here, uh, we have we have a Terragrunt uh, destroy step to get rid of all the infrastructure, just to write it clean for this one, but you may or may not use that. And it's just doing a standard destroy execution. And that's it. That's a simple Terragrunt Terraform deployment with provisioning of the target infrastructure.